All right, Dr. Paul has pretty much heard the whole thing. You have based your career on this very thing, on government waste, on big government, on government spending. And here in California, we know how to do that pretty well. You just saw the arrogance that Heidi was talking about. What do you think about that? Unfortunately, uh, I'm not shocked because it's happening all the time. It's not like it's almost expected, which is a tragedy. And of course, that's the reason we're in this in, in this mess that we have today. But uh, people have to wake up eventually. You know, not only will the states all go bankrupt, but the federal government is going to be going bankrupt too. But uh, you, you, you know, it, it it just represents the fact. I mentioned a lot in my speeches about. The people I know in Washington, the bureaucrats and the politicians, aren't smart enough to know how to spend your money. And so this makes my whole point. That's a lot of money. Now, if, if, if there's a need to spend money, I think individuals would know how to do it much better than giving this money to the government because they do spend it. And politics sounds like it's very much in a lot of contract. Who gets them? It's spent, when government allots money, it's politically uh, distributed. It isn't distributed out of needs. So the big question is, how necessary was this program? <laughs> to begin with, yeah, without a doubt. But, All right, now let me use that to segue into your campaign. And I probably you won't like this, but I'll probably talk a little bit about what may be wrong with your campaign before we get to what you think is right with it. You have based your campaign very, not based it, but you spent a lot of time on college campuses. You have 591 chapters, 53,600 people in those chapters. You spoke to 6,000 students last night up at Chico State. And by the way, Dr. Paul is about to go to UCLA. You'll get a big crowd there as well. But yet you can't seem to gain traction with the voters. Why is that? Well, my message is sort of a more universal message rather than going directly to the Republican primary voters. And of course, then that's a mixed bag. But my message goes to Republican fiscal conservatives, it goes to independents, and it goes also to a lot of Democrats. And they don't like going and vote in the Republican primary. They're upset with Obama. A good test for what we're doing is when they put my name up against Obama. And I do quite well well, when we do that. In in fact, the Christian Science Monitor released a poll that said, was it just about about a month ago or so, not even that, that said that you would beat Obama 43% to 41%. So my political challenge is how do I get people to come to the Republican primary? Just on this trip today, walking the street and meeting a few people and say, oh, I love what you're doing. Let me take a picture. But, uh, you know, I just won't go to a Republican primary vote. You know, they don't want to do that. They they don't. Well, you seem to be too too far to the right for some liberals, and yet you seem to be too radical for some conservatives. But, but this this invites the coalition. This invites the broad base because some liberals like me for certain reasons, conservatives like me for some reason. Well, that leads me to the next question, which is, are you still considering a third party run? Well, I've never really seriously considered it. No, I, I'm not. Uh, that's not going around in my mind. Well, then, well, then, Congressman, why? Why stay in this? You have the popularity. It must feel good to walk onto a campus and speak to six thousand people, but you have fifty-one delegates. But we haven't counted a lot of, you know, the early no, votes. You know, we have... Come on, you're up against 658 by yeah, your, by your yeah, opponent. Yeah, that, that is true. But uh, we're only halfway through, and, uh, and and there's no way my supporters would say, Oh, Ron, are you tired? Let's just drop out. What they'll do no. if I say, look, I'm, you, you know, uh, it's a tough race. But you're spending their money, too. And that's you're, right. and and you're that's a fiscal very, conservative. And in that, that is, in, and uh, if they look at our reports, we're very, very watchful of that money. And uh, what they would say, if there was any idea that there might be a slacking off an of interest, that probably the other day we said, well, we could use a bit of cash in the, in the bank. I had a little money bomb, and they said $1.2 million. So the enthusiasm there, it hasn't translated into these votes. Mm-hmm. But the important thing is, what are you trying to do? Are you trying to change the country or just, you, you know, change the, uh, uh, you know, get the votes in the Republican Party? I want to change things. Well, then and, what position could you be put in to help change the country? Do you want a cabinet position? No, president. <laughs> yes, sir. I, yes, sir. I understand that. I, but short of but short of getting president, yeah. I don't think you're going to be on the short list for vice president. Nah, probably not. Probably not. But what about a cabinet position? Would you? Would you I don't think that that would be offered to me because I. I, I know I, you don't I, want to run the Fed. We'll get to that in a minute. <laughs> yeah, put me ahead of the Fed, <laughs> then I would. I put myself out of business. You sure quickly. would. Exactly. Yeah. Let me get to that because one of the questions I'm, I have when it comes to you getting traction and getting votes is you seem to make so much sense to so many people. And then yet, you do things like make accusations that the Federal Reserve financed Watergate and the Federal Reserve loaned $5.5 billion to Saddam Hussein 
to buy weapons, and then you put the Fed at task with, with basically investigating your claims, spending taxpayer money, and I want to tell you today, the Inspector General of the Federal Reserve came out and pretty much said what Mr. Bernanke said when he heard your claims, which is, it's ludicrous. There's nothing to it. Why, do you, make, why do you make these claims? Now, what you're doing is saying the Fed investigated the Fed, two government I know I agency, I know. and people don't even trust anything that we do. So it's questionable. And I didn't make the charges. So you, you said it. Made, no, I, I you saw your statement. You I, said it has been reported that. Oh, now, see, now you're saying it correctly. That's true, but, but you're conveying but, information without, but what they without need any to do, There's an academician, a professor who used to work in the Fed and in the government, worked with several, like Henry Roy, Royce and, and Gonzalez, right. and real experts. He wrote a book on this, and I was merely quoting him because it sounds pretty Can fascinating. But I'm it? not satisfied with these reports. I mean, these reports. Well, this is like asking it? the Fed. Okay, <laughs> but, but, but Congressman, do you believe these claims that the federal government financed Watergate? I think that's what voters want to know. They want to know. No, wait I a minute. Is this I guy taking this seriously? I think they just facilitated it. I mean, you do. You do. Oh, sure. Why wouldn't they do it? Well, not, I mean, you, I mean, if the CIA gets involved and the IRS get involved with Hunter Nixon. You know, I know there's, uh, there's there's reason to be, uh, you know, uh, challenging what the government yes. does. I mean, you're already talking about your state government and look at what they do. Our federal government, people, about 70 percent of the American people say, we need more oversight of the Federal Reserve. This confirms them and they just cover up everything. We need to know what they're doing. Well, Congressman, how would you expect to change things even if you were elected president? You're talking about a conspiratorial theory that's so thick, I don't think anybody could break it if they believe what, you're, what you seem to believe. What, that, they, that the Federal Reserve cooperated in, in something like that? Cooperated? I mean, pardon me? Go ahead. Oh, well, no, I, I think most people would, would believe that's a possibility. But, uh, you know, to do this, and th this is just mainly designed to protect the Fed and enhance it, because, because I challenge them, oh, we've got to clean this up. We have to protect the Fed's reputation. But the, the Fed is responsible for our business cycle, our unemployment, the inflation. Do you believe that $7, 8000000000000 trillion were used to bail out big banks? If they can bail out the big banks of Europe and buy debt and dump it on you, right. you ought to believe that this is chicken feed. This is nothing. To compare to the trillions of dollars, that's what's happening. Bailing out, uh, you know, Goldman Sachs okay. and our banks. This is where it is. So this is nothing compared to the real problems that we need to look at at the Federal Reserve. So Let I don't think this this is a, a big deal. Compa you don't. Oh, not compared right. to the. Uh, you think it's a big deal, like a trillion dollar, tr seven trillion dollars that they use to no, bail no, out I'm foreign just, banks? I'm just talking about the question about the financing of Watergate. It seems uh, a little anachronistic. Well, it that's seems a, a little, little bit. bit on, on that's a little bit of overstepping. Yeah. I, I read this book, and okay. I merely right. asked him that, yeah. and they, they gave me their answer, which was a government, okay. another government answer. All right, let me take you through a couple of other things, just so our viewers know where you do stand. Obama's health care plan, it seems to me like you would be standing right next to Paul Clement and arguing with the 21 states against Obama's health care plan. Oh, sure. I mean, we're, 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 what part of Article 1, Section 8 even gets the government involved in medical care? So, yeah, Obamacare is uh, one huge step further along in undermining personal liberty and personal decisions and forcing you to buy something that uh, you might not want to buy. You are an OBGYN by trade. Mm -hmm. Uh, you are against abortion. You want to repeal Roe v. Wade. Do you believe it's a state's rights issue? Yeah, I think the state should handle are you, them. Are you uh, violence is a state issue. I mean, if there's murder or violence or theft or manslaughter, it's not a federal so, issue. So for Southern Californians, just to hear you out, you are against abortion not because government shouldn't be interfering in the rights of women. You're against abortion because you believe it's murder? No, I didn't say that. You just used the term murder. Well, no, I said the state's handle. And you said an act of they violence. Say, Yes, it's an act of violence. I also said it was, a, it was a, you know, they handle all, all acts of violence, whether it's manslaughter or okay, whatnot. So, so this, this is a state issue. Are you morally opposed to abortion? Yes, certainly. I mean, it's, uh, as a physician, uh, you know, I was paid to take care of two lives when I was taking care of a, of a pregnant woman. If I did any harm to the fetus, I got sued. So right. it, to, well, to sure. endorse abortion, you have to say it's not human, it's not alive, and it's not killing. Here in Southern and, and the truth is, it is all the way through things. I understand. I understand. Here in Southern California, this is, a, this is quite a union state. You are ardently opposed to unions. Am I correct? No. Your, your website 
No, I'm, talks I'm about against being special powers against to you. Forced uh, union, ah, forced union ah, membership. Ah, that's this different. Is a, well, this is a compulsory no, state. No, okay. No, this is not a right to work I don't state. believe in compulsion in this sense. I believe that unions have a right to organize, they have a right to negotiate, but they have no right to get special powers from the government. So that's a big difference. Unions are voluntary. If you want to voluntary jo join a union and contract with your businessman, fine, but you don't get any special privileges and powers from the government, then right. it's no longer voluntary. So that it was incorrectly uh, uh, portrayed. All right. I am going to go ahead and ask our producer, Chris, do we have any, any questions from Twitter or from Facebook? I just want to, I went out and, on, on, and I tweeted, you know, people who wanted to ask you questions. And if Chris doesn't have any, I have one that was sent to me. Uh, Allison here asks, no, I'm sorry, I think it's someone else who was asking uh, why would you not run as a conservative Democrat? That's what, that's what one of our Twitter followers is asking. Because I've been in the Congress 12 times as a Republican, and the parties, other, and other, I, I could see change where, parties. Uh, yeah, but, uh, you know, if you ran as a Republican, but the, the point is a good point. There is really no difference. I mean, my philosophy could run as an independent. It could run as a Democrat. It could run as a Republican, indicating that the philosophy I'm talking about is going to bring people together. It's going to bring independents and Democrats and Republicans together when you talk about personal liberty and you talk about the Constitution. All right, Congressman, I'm going to let you go because I, knew, I do know you have to go to UCLA. Do you expect, having not won a single primary or caucus, do you expect to come away with any delegates before this is all said and done? With any delegates? Well, I mean, with any more delegates. How many hundred? 51, you... other than the 51, oh, yeah. obviously. Obviously. Right. We, we have a very good chance to uh, have the plurality of uh, five or six states, which means that we, we will do. control those delegations. The votes are only being counted. Those popular votes that were taken, those straw votes, uh, they're only going through I, the process right now. I should have corrected myself and said to actually outright win any primaries or caucuses. Do you think you'll outright win any, any primaries? You said a plurality of states. Well, that means you win and you lead the you caucus and you control the caucus. Yes, we will control some caucuses. All right. Congressman Ron Paul, you spent a lot of time with us. We thank you for being here in Studio 11 LA. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Don't push away from the desk too far. It's on wheels. It may roll away before you do. That'll be neat. Yeah. <laughs>